Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of addition, specifically how we can use compatible numbers to easily add numbers mentally, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have four numbers on the screen, 24 plus 18 plus 46 plus 23. And we're going to look at how we can use this term down here, compatible numbers, to add these numbers mentally. Now, compatible numbers are simply numbers that easily add together. And so one thing you want to look at whenever you're trying to add numbers in your head mentally is look at the ones place. Do you see any ones places that if you add together, make a 10? Because when you can make a 10, that makes everything easy. And one thing we should see here is we should see the 24 and the 46. Now, the commutative property of addition says you can add these numbers in any order. So you don't have to go 24 and then 18 and then 46. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange these. I'm going to add 24 plus 46. So I'm going to bring these two together. And then I'll pick up my 18 and my 23. And the reason I picked the 24 and the 46, I just rearranged them, is because the 4 and the 6 in the 1's place, that makes a 10. So if I know that's a 10, I can add 20, 40, so 20 and 40 make 60, add another 10 is 70. So right now I've got 70 because I just added the two 10s places, 20 and 40, that's 60, and then add that 10. Now my 18 and my 23, they almost make a 10. See this 8 and 3, that makes 11, so that's really close. So what we're going to do is for just a moment, compensation is a term that we could use here. Compensation means I'm going to just take one away to tweak this number just a little bit. So I'm going to make that a 22 in my brain for just a moment. Because if I can make that a 22, well now my 18 and my 22 work, it's going to be the same thing. I can say that my 8 and my 2, that makes 10. So now I've got 10, I've got another 20, that's 30. And then I've got the 8 and the 2 make it 10, so that's 40. So 18 plus 22 equals 40. Then if I add those two up, 70 and 40, that makes, well, 7 and 4 makes 11. So it makes 11 with a 0, or 110. Now, we need to come back to this number right here. We made this number 1 smaller using compensation. I'll write that right here. Compensation just so we can easily add it because that 22 is a more compatible number than 23. But that number doesn't just go away. We have to bring it back. So now we're going to bring it back to our sum. and We're going to get 111. You took it away just a moment to add. Now let's bring it back. So 111. Well, let's see if I can add these numbers just lining them up using the standard algorithm just to make sure that I didn't mess anything up. Make sure we're going to line these up vertically here. And when you're doing a vertical addition, once again, we're going to look for 10s because that just kind of makes things easy. So that's 10. That's 18. 19, 20, 21. So I've got 21. I'm going to carry the 2. I got 2, 4, 6, that's 10, and that's 11. So we see the answer here as 111. Let's look at another example. Looking at this new example, the first two numbers I see that I want to play with are the 26 and the 74, because they're really close to 25 and 75. If I take one away from this 26 to make that a 25, I can add it to this 74 to make that a 75. The reason I like 25 and 75, those remind me of quarters, because I know that 25 plus 75 makes 100. So I've already got 100 right there. I just need to add, I'm going to put my 100. I've got my 42 and my 11. Now the 42 and the 11, there's not many tricks to do with that, but the nice thing is, is if you take a look at the ones place, they're not going to be very much. So you can just add those like normal. So you can say 100 plus 42, so we can add that in our brain, we can say 142, and then we can add the 11, so plus 11 is going to make 153.